to say uh, our friend Ross Mitchell just got back from two terms at sea. Uh, and he brought with him this amazing story and a venereal disease. <laughs> and the story is true. It's a true, 100% true story that Ross learned from, from pirates that he met who are distant relatives of his. And it's about his great, great grandfather, Bogey Cuckelbaker Mitchell. <laughs> now, um, a lot of people, I would say, leave this earth behind with very little to show for it. But Bogey, Bogey Cuckelbaker Mitchell, changed the course of history. And tonight we're going to tell you his story, and I have the honor of playing the band himself. Without further ado, let me present the humble barber. <laughs> Are you bogey? Yes, I am. I would like one haircut, please. <laughs> oh, I see you found a chair there, friend. Uh -huh. so, uh, so, what do you do, stranger? I give out awards. That's, uh, that's a real job? Uh -huh. Yes. What kind of awards? Awards for being a genius. They're called genius awards. <laughs> They're very, very special. But you can only get one if you're a genius. Well, I'm probably not one of those. You're probably not. <laughs> Less than one half of 1% of the population actually qualify as geniuses. A mere barber like yourself probably wouldn't fall into that group. Well, I suppose you are right, my friend. I suppose you are right. So, what'll it be today? A nice uh, part down the middle just to clean up the sides a little bit? No, no. I've seen those. I want something... New fangled. Well, you are in luck, my friend, because right now I have many styles here in this book that just arrived that are both new and fangled. Look at that one there, the Grover Cleveland. And over there, the Yankee Doodle Dapper. Very fine. No, no, no. I don't feel like you understand, my friend. You see, I don't want the Grover Cleveland or the Yankee Doodle Dapper or any of these hair styles that may appear in this book. I want the kind of hairs that have never been cut on any head before. When women see my hair, their bosoms will explode out of their bosom. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a pretty tall order, stranger. I don't know if I can do that. Well, then I guess I've come to the wrong place. You're merely a barber. And what I need now is a hair artist. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait. <laughs> I'm seeing a vision. <laughs> I see the top of your head. <laughs> the hairs are long, luxuriant. <laughs> but on the sides, short. <laughs> transition from long to short. No transition. <laughs> what? A straight line? <laughs> Impossible. It can't be done. It can be done. And I'm going to have to do it, sir. Even if it takes me everything in the kitchen sink. Your determination is apparent. I hope my skepticism isn't.
It's the best haircut ever given in the entire universe. It's so good I can't describe it using words, but a, but a hand gesture, I like it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 